Hey guys, what's happening? Hey Sandeep, good to have you. What's going on? I thought we were introducing something new, but Flash Story M's here. Well look Sandeep, we are introducing a new array today, but this is the awesome thing about pure storage. Everything we do is evergreen. So when an M customer might want to upgrade to something new from pure storage, like in this case an all NVMe array, they can just do a simple controller swap to a new controller that speaks NVMe natively right out the back into the mid plane of the M chassis. As you know by now, probably the M chassis was pre-wired for NVMe years ago. And so that new controller can speak NVMe up to the front, and you can now slot right in those flash modules, the direct flash modules we saw earlier. That's as simple as it is to upgrade to the brand new Flash Array X, the first 100% NVMe enterprise class all flash array from pure storage. Awesome. Flash Array X, as we said earlier, is just a simple upgrade from Flash Array M. And so the entire install base of customers can take advantage of the power of NVMe today. So upgrade to the new X70 controller that features NVMe, install the brand new version of Purity, which now contains the direct flash software that Sandeep and Tabriz talked about earlier, and then add in the direct flash modules, and you can transform N into, into a fully NVMe array. Now, one of the unique things that we're focused on at Pure Storage is to deliver amazing performance, but not to leave the software behind. And so if you look at the all NVMe market today, there's a few early entrants, but they're all focused on really high performance and, and not a lot of enterprise features. Frankly, it felt a lot like the early days of Flash when Pure came in and figured out the recipe of how to deliver an enterprise class Flash array. We're now bringing that recipe to an all NVMe array. And so how does this new array interact with Purity, Sandy? Flash Array X runs the exact same version of Purity as uh, Flash Array M. And what that means is that customers benefit from the full non-shifted capabilities that are built into it. In fact, it inherits the Proven 6.9's availability of Flash Array M. Uh, there's also industry-leading uh, data reduction that's built in, always on QoS, uh, and disaster recovery is also uh, built into it. That's right. And to complement uh, Purity, we've got Pure One. So really easy uh, management, both for, um, from an end user point of view, and as we've talked about in the cloud era, it's much, uh, it's just as much about having applications do the automation, the orchestration directly. And so we've got very cloud-friendly uh, REST APIs to, to actually drive that array. Awesome. So 100% of me, it's probably faster, right? Indeed. Flash Array M is already super fast. And with 100% NVMe, with direct flash built into Flash Array X, it's even faster, up to 50% lower latency, greater than 2x uh, higher bandwidth, as well as 4x the performance density. And the beautiful thing is that everything is uh, evergreen upgradable from Flash Array M. So this performance density point, that gets back to what you and Tabriz were talking about earlier, where these bigger flash modules are coming out, but you just can't use them if you're using SAS. So how does this unlock new performance? Flash Array X is uh, both small and speedy. What that means is in Flash Array M, uh, it used to take up to 44 flash modules to get the maximum performance. In Flash Array X, you can get the maximum performance with just 10 flash modules. Uh, imagine having a full tier one array uh, within the footprint of a 10 flash modules. It also means that it unlocks uh, new use cases. In Cloud Array applications, customers are typically configuring servers with flash uh, cards inside them. Uh, in a rack configuration. And what they can now do is essentially configure Flash Array X in a top of the rack configuration and be able to remove those uh, flash cards uh, within those servers. Yeah, this is an area our cloud and software as service customers have been really excited about. As their infrastructures have grown, managing all that DAS flash has been problematic and expensive. And so this allows all the benefits of shared storage consolidated right at the top of their rack. Flash Array X is also big and brawny. Uh, it, that unprecedented density level that it unlocks means you can get all the way up to one petabyte of effective capacity within just 3U, and it can enable this ultimate consolidation, uh, tier one consolidation, uh, within a single rack footprint uh, with just amazing levels of uh, bandwidth as well as petabytes of capacity available. Yeah, and that's just spectacular scale, right? It means the new consolidation king. And that rack of, of Flash Array Xs, all seamlessly managed with a consistent you know, experience in Pure One. Again, it's the FLS way to go. Cool. The petabyte in 3U, you know, sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words. And you know, the exciting thing here, I think, is really the journey. Um, if you look over the past five years, customers are finally starting to internalize how fast Flash changes. And so investing in an architecture that's always evergreen is powerful. If you bought a petabyte from us five years ago, it literally would have been six racks of flash. We can now shrink that down into 3U. And best of all, wherever you entered in this picture, you could have always moved your architecture forward and made it denser. That's the benefit of Evergreen. So tell us a little bit about some of the new use cases uh, X enables, and you know, will it ultimately replace M? Does M go away, or do these both live on? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, flash Array X extends the Flash Array family. What that means is 
Flash Array M is available with Best Economics for Flash Everywhere, uh, entry-level Flash Array M10, or build, building an all-flash cloud, uh, whether it's the M20, M50, or M70. Flash Array X delivers that highest performance uh, for the Tier 1 applications. That means basically being able to take your Tier 1 application that requires just massive performance within a dense footprint, or a top of rack DAS replacement, and or basically doing full Tier 1 consolidation. That's right. And, and the really great thing here for customers is that you know, they can start really anywhere on this picture. I mean, typically they're going to start at the lower end and they're going to scale, and they can do that in the M family, all non-disruptively. They can go from M2X, just like we've gone across generations historically, right? So because it's all the Flash Array family, anywhere you get in is the right place to get in for you. And then as your needs change, you know, we're there to grow with you. Awesome. So M to X really highlights the benefit of Evergreen. Tell us a little bit more about how Evergreen is going to work with this transition. Yeah, I mean, the Evergreen promise is a really profound one. Uh, we've been doing this for years, as, the, as this picture shows. I mean, all the way back in 2012 with the FA320, we've crossed multiple generations of, of array and you know, changed the density profile really dramatically in the overall performance capability. And so X is really just another step, another day in the life of Evergreen, as we like to say. So customers are going to be able to not only get from their M to their X, they're going to be able to do it with investment protection. You know, the, the Evergreen model is a business model as well as it is a, a technology and architecture yes. model, right? So all the non-disruptiveness that built in, that's built into the technology allows us to uh, give business model complements to that technology with trade-in credit for controllers, for flash, so people can modernize their entire array over, the, you know, over time and just take advantage of every benefit, every innovation, whether it's software, hardware, you name it, that we have to offer. So if I want to move to NVMe, does that mean I have to throw all my SaaS flash away? No, you don't. So, in also the sort of standard pure ethos, we want to do what's right for customers and give them choices. So really there's a couple ways that we think people are going to want to go. One is they're going to have some SaaS flash already attached to their M, and they're going to want to take advantage of that flash, and we'll allow them to do that. So they can migrate the controllers as you outlined, uh, keep that SaaS flash uh, attached, and then have a, a full empty NVMe ready chassis for them to add more denser, you know, faster flash to it. Uh, but then there's going to be those that want the high performance use cases, as we sort of showed. And those folks will be able to consolidate their SAS flash right into the chassis with full NVMe drives and get consolidation credit while they do it. So they don't have to rebuy those original SAS flash that they had and they have a fully modernized, super dense array. That's pretty cool. The next expansion can just be an expansion to NVMe. Absolutely. All right. So dramatically faster, dramatically denser, what's not to love? I'm sure the question on everybody's minds is, what is this thing going to cost? You know, we've seen all NVMe arrays introduced in the market that literally had a 10x premium over all flash arrays, which just limits the applicable consolidation you can do or where you can use them. Um, if you look at a dual-ported NVMe drive today, it carries about a 2x premium over a dual-ported SAS drive. So, Jason, what's this thing going to cost me? Am I, you know, arm, leg? What am I going to give you? The good news is it's not going to cost you an arm or a leg. We are planning to put a premium on top of the M with the X because it's bringing a whole bunch of new capabilities, right? Uh, but it's not going to be an exorbitant amount like you're going to see and we have seen in the market uh, with other products. So our goal as a company uh, is to make Flash mainstream. Bring it everywhere, right? We want to take the whole data center and make it Flash. And we've been doing that ever since we, you know, we founded. We started with regular old SaaS Flash. And now we're going to do it again with NVMe and we can't wait to, uh, for folks to kind of experience it for themselves. All right. Well, there you have it, NVMe, 100% all flash with a direct flash technology to be able to enable mainstream use of NVMe flash.